Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm Noor Ashikin binti Abu, your lecturer. We cover topic of cost volume profit analysis, or also known as CVP analysis. Okay, what we are going to cover in this topic? First of all, we have to look at the definition and importance of CVP. Second, uh, the use of marginal costing income statement in CVP analysis. Okay, as you learned before, we have two types of costing, marginal and absorption, uh, where in CVP we will apply marginal costing. In marginal, we have to differentiate which one is fixed cost and which one is variable cost. Next, we're going to look at the assumption and limitations of CVP. Okay. And then uh, break-even analysis, the component in CBP. How to determine break-even point by using three approach, equation approach, uh, contribution approach, and graphical approach. And next, we're going to look at uh, what's the definitions of margin of safety, how to compute it, and what's the effect on CBP. And lastly, uh, how the company is going to compute the CBP if they have a multi-product. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look at what is the definition of CVP. Okay. CVP is a systematic method of examining the relationship between changes in volume, which is known as level of activity, with the total asset, expense, and profit in the short run. To make it simple, uh, CVP analysis help you to determine what happened to the C cost if there is any changes in V volume? Or what happened to your profit and cost if there is changes in volume? Or what what if you change the profit? How it will affect to your C cost and volume? So it means that we are going to look at the relationship between the C cost, V volume and profit. Okay, so the importance of CBP, uh, this analysis help you to establish what will happen to the profit if a specified level of activity fluctuate. As I mentioned, if your volume increase, what happened to your profit? So usually we, we expect that the more you sell, the higher the profit. But sometimes it not happen. So later we will going to look at uh, how the changes in profit if there is a changes in level of activity. And then the CBP analysis help management to change any variable in CBP relationship and immediately see the effect of it on the profit. Like I mentioned, if there is a changes in C cost, what's the effect to V volume and profit? And if there is changes in volume, what's the effect to cost and profit, and etc. So, this analysis is vital to the management as volume influences the total sales revenue, total cost, and profit. The more volume or the more unit you produce, the higher the cost, and probably the higher the revenue, and what's the effect to the profit. Sometimes, we sell more, but the profit is less. We sell less, but the profit is more. So the CVP analysis will help you on that. Okay, so the CVP analysis also important in the flexible budget. So after CVP topic, you will learn budget. So one of the type of budget is flexible budget. Flexible budget means if you produce 1,000, how much is your cost? How much is your revenue? If you produce 2,000, what's the effect to your cost and revenue? So we try to flex the budget by using CVP uh, knowledge. Second, uh, company can use the CVP analysis to make a decision in pricing. Uh, for example, if they increase the volume, how much uh, the price that they can change in order to get same profit? Or maybe... If the company have targeted profit, so how much they have to sell it uh, in order to set the particular selling price. 
and then uh, you can use CDP to measure the company profit. So if I sell this much, this is the volume, how much is the cost and how much is the profit. And lastly, CVP analysis can use to cost control and planning. So it means that the company can plan how much the cost for the product to, to achieve the targeted profit or how much the, the, they should produce the cost or how much the cost for the product in order to uh, arrive at the targeted uh, sales or targeted profit. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, CBP analysis will use marginal costing method. In a marginal costing, the income statement shows the segregation of cost behavior. Right? Segregation of cost behavior where we have to segregate the variable and fixed cost. So which means uh, the contribution margin is very important. The contribution margin is the difference between uh, selling price and variable cost. Okay, so SP okay, SP minus VC is equal to your contribution margin. So the concept of contribution margin is very important in CDP analysis. Okay, I will get back to you for assumption and limitation because we don't know what's the advantage and disadvantage until you know what a CDP analysis is. So tak kenal maka tak cinta. So you have to know the CDP pairs first before you know what's the assumption and limitations of CDP analysis. Okay, don't worry, I'll get back to you at the end of the session. Okay, a uh, break-even analysis is the very basic concept in CVP. Okay, the study of CVP is often done by BEP analysis first. BEP is a break-even point, okay. It is a technique that provides information to the internal management on the impact of the changes in sale and expense on profit, which means that if there is any changes in your sales volume or if there is any changes in the expense, the cost, so what's the effect on the profit or loss? Okay, so break even is the point where the sales does enough to cover the cost. So it means that there is no gain, no loss. The company doesn't make any profit, nor suffer losses. Break even. Okay. At the break-even point, sales are equal to total cost and contribution margin is equal to fixed cost. Okay, as I mentioned to you, the contribution margin means SP minus VC. So, it's just nice to cover your fixed cost. So, there is no gain or no loss. Okay, break-even point indicate the level of sales they are necessary to avoid losses and to target for a profit. So, which means that if the company can reach the break-even point, if they sell more than break-even point, they will get profit. Uh, break-even point, the analogy is that your passing rate. So, if uh, in, in MAF 201, your passing rate is 50. If you get less than 50, you fail. If you get more than 50, you pass. So, in the business, break-even point is their... A level where they have no gain, no losses. If they achieve less than break-even point, they will get loss. And if they achieve more than break-even point, they will get profit. So there are three techniques to determine a CVP. The equation approach, a graphical approach, and then a contribution margin approach. So this is the formula for the equation. Sales minus total cost equal to net profit. In a break-even analysis, net profit is zero, so means that sales is equal to total cost. Or, sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost equal to net profit, uh, means that sales minus all the cost equal to net profit. Or even you can extend the formula, sales is equal to variable plus fixed plus net profit. Okay, so at the break-even point, net profit is set as zero amount. Second, we can use contribution approach. In the contribution approach, we will use the concept of 
contribution margin. Look at here, the CM, CM is equal to SP minus VC. So, means that uh, contribution is the amount of revenue remaining after deducting variable cost. SP is your revenue minus VC is your variable cost. So, if there is any balance, let's say your selling price is RM10. Okay, your variable cost is RM5. So, which means that the remaining balance is RM5. Okay, contribution margin is the remaining after deducting variable cost. Is the amount of revenue remaining after deducting variable cost. Okay, it can be expre expressed in terms of contribution margin per unit. It can be expressed as total contribution or it can be in percentage. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay, alright. This is the formula for break-even point if you are using contribution approach. So, in order to get a break-even analysis uh, or in unit, you have to use fixed cost, total fixed cost, divided by contribution margin per unit. Or if you want to get in RM, in value, you can divide uh, fixed cost with CS ratio. Or another way around, once you get the BEP in unit, you just multiply with selling price in order to get break-even sales in value. Later, I will show you how to get it. Okay, Alright, uh, this is the extension of contribution margin approach. If you have profit, uh, in previous cases, you have break-even, no gain, no loss. But here, if you want to target a profit, you can modify the formula. So, your targeted profit is equal to fixed plus profit divided by contribution margin. Or, you can use this formula uh, if you want to get the sales in value. So, fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by CS ratio. Okay, in the next session, I will show you how to use those formula in order to calculate the break even by using um, equation and also using the CM approach, contribution margin approach.